Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. Today we're going to have a quick two in one video. This is the Happy Model Sailflight X. Been out a few weeks now. You've probably seen a lot of videos on this thing. It's a toothpick style racing FPV mini drone, mini quad. It runs on a 300 milliamp hour uh, 3SI volt, tiny little battery with XT30 connector on. It mounts into this TPU mount on the bottom here of the quad and it does catch these screws when you're putting it in but you do get another strap inside the pack that I can't find anywhere you do get another uh, strap to make the battery and you also get another one of these which is a different angle and it's in purple so this is a TPU printed mount to hold the camera in place which by the way is a decent camera I like the camera on this a lot very clear, very colourful, nice image back to your goggles even though the video you're going to see at the end won't give that impression because the video you're going to see at the end has been recorded on the FXT's and the FXT's recorder is not like, well I don't think the recorder is great in any goggles to be fair I think you're better off with a separate one so these are 1102 8500 KV motors these are the ones with one and a half mil shaft I think the original ones they sent out for reviewers had a one mil shaft They've modified them to one and a half and I believe the first one of these that came out also had a one and a half mil shaft but one mil propellers and you had to do them yourself. Mine hasn't, mine's come with the right size propellers. You get two sets of propellers in the box is it? You, uh, and you can buy more. Sorry about that, the cam back went flat. What I was saying was you can buy these from Banggood for I think it's four pairs for like three quid. Sorry, four sets for like three quid and I got the red ones. It really is a fantastic thing to fly. I can't speak highly enough of this thing. It's the most fun you can have flying one of these little things. It zips around, it turns on a, on a dime, it just spins so fast it's untrue. It's ridiculously fast, it's ridiculously smooth to fly. Nothing like I thought it was going to be when I first, and I didn't think it'd take an impact, but I pounded it in quite a few times. And it's been absolutely fine, nothing's broke, the carbon fibre seems good and I've had no issues whatsoever with it. It really is a lot of fun, there's a lot of videos out on this now and this, this is definitely going to be what's moving forward because there's already a load of these type of ones out. I've also got coming up on the channel very very shortly, the I've got a CineWhoop 4K coming up, it's a CineB 4K which has the, I think it's Tazia camera in the one with the two lenses. So I've got that coming up shortly. That's amazing. But I just wanted to get this one up for you nice and quick because it is good fun. It has a little bit of this, a little capacity in there to stop the noise of the camera. And like I said before, the camera's very good and the footage isn't going to look the best. So there isn't any more to say about this. He's been done to death really. There's a load of reviews on it. I just wanted to do a quick review to tell you how good I thought it is. And if you're looking at something like this, it's a great buy. I think they're about £72, but great. So the second part of this also is something that's bound to this. So this is the Jumper C16. So I've done three or four videos on this so far and I said I'd give you an update every month or so, but not much has changed on it. Uh, only thing I've changed is the splash screen since you've seen it last time when you boot it up, which is easy enough to do if you go over to Jumper, T Jumper uh, TX, I think it's ZYX. Dot com go on to there and you can download the new splash screen and that's where all the firmware will be so i've got over 20 models on it now i've been flying everything i can on it so i've got it now bound to spectrum dsmx dsm2 i've got it bound to fly sky fr sky 16 and 8 and i've also got it bound to sfhss a couple of things i've also got it bound to the bugs drones and a couple of toy xk planes and I've had no issues whatsoever with it it binds straight away it never loses its bind I have no issue with it at all the only thing that I know people have had an issue with is this here I've had no issue in mine I'm not saying I never will because it's got a plastic pin I believe in holding that in there that's never going to be the best idea but I believe if you buy it since then this has now got a metal pin in and I believe that this has got certification for the United States now so they'll be able to sell this in the United States and I think they're still ironing out small bugs that this thing had. But I cannot fault it. I've been flying planes and quads on this thing. I haven't flown a helicopter, but I will give you... I'm going to 
buying my T-Rex 150 if you know what one of them is it's a little indoor model that's absolutely crackers uh, it really is a bit of a handful to fly even indoor, uh, indoors but I'm going to bind it up to this because that one's on the Fatara protocol and let's see how it is with a helicopter that's got different modes set up on it but yeah it's fantastic, I have no, no other issues apart from the fact that it does eat batteries. The batteries don't last that long, I've got 3000 milliamp hour 18650s in here. Uh, they are branded, but whether they're real or not I don't know, because that's the biggest problem with buying 18650s. Are you getting branded batteries or not, or is it just some Mickey Mouse ones that don't last two minutes? The, by the way this thing's going eating batteries, I'm guessing these Samsung branded ones are not really Samsung, even though I bought them from Amazon. So, if you've watched my videos, you know how much I love this thing. This is now my everyday radio. I haven't flown with a Fly Sky Nevada since I bought this. I haven't used the X Lite, and I've actually sold my um, Tyrannis X9 Plus SE Edition, and I've also sold my X7, and I've also sold my Jumper T12 and my Jumper T8 SGV2 because. This is all I need. This is an all-in-one radio. I will be keeping the Fly Sky because I still I still love that the Nirvana, the X Lite. I've got a video coming up with you, so you don't know, I've converted that to multi protocol. I'm going to do some testing on that, so I'm going to put this aside maybe maybe after in a month or so and do some testing on that. But apart from that, no, this is fantastic. I highly recommend it. So both things on the table, massive recommendation. This is a must buy. If you if you fly and you like flying FPV, just buy this. Don't even think about it. And if you're after a transmitter, this is fantastic. I will be getting the X I will probably get the FR Sky X9 Lite to play with, which is around 70 quid. It's got access protocol in case you didn't know about it. it doesn't come with the other protocols on there but you can now put d16 on and i believe d8 will be coming now due to public proper demand because it was stupid bringing out a transmitter with a different protocol why would you do that i think it was in answer to this but from what i've seen on the radio it doesn't look anywhere near like this it looks a much cheaper shell but let's buy one and let's see what it looks like when i've got it in my hand thanks ever so much for watching enjoy the footage that's coming up from this little guy and have a fantastic day
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up